Nelson right here again with another video. Now, in today's video, we will be reviewing the last week price action that came in place on USD card. Now, the reason why I had to do USD card because I, I personally felt based on the review I got from my Telegram channel. A lot of people didn't actually follow up with the setup rather they follow up with uh, the AD USD setup and uh, I pretty much want to explain the USD card setup that way uh, whenever they get to see it play out in the chat they can actually capitalize on it as well now first of let me show you what I mean by you see I actually posted an AD USD setup beforehand and uh, I was expecting you can see from the caption stop cleared nicely waiting for longs i was looking for longs around this area after we cleared out this sell stops and uh, we did have you know some longs later on which is the end result right here so uh however on usd card as well there was a total soup setup over here which uh, a lot of people failed to capitalize on and this was the end result okay so I will be reviewing this the USD card trade specifically because I want to show how the setup actually came about because by what I got from you know the pool like this short pool I did it seems uh, a lot of people actually followed the AD USD setup and understood what was going on rather than the USD card setup. So though the US, the AD USD was just a simple stop run hitting another block and moving to the other side so let me i think i should quickly show you guys this if i if i start you can see there was another block right here that was being hit from this level so as it hits it we just you know took the rally up to the other side however the setup on usd card was more like a total suit setup and uh, despite being inside the consolidation we were still confident enough to continue looking for shorts to take to the downside. Now, on the weekly time frame, you can clearly see on the USD card what's going on here. Now, we can see clearly that we are bearish. How did we become bearish? From this market structure, you know, stop on to the upside. From this stop on to the upside, you can see clearing out these buy stops then taking it down now the reason why i'm using the body of the candles uh that is should i say that is my that is my model okay uh, i know uh, a lot of people can take this to the week and say this was where the buy stop where this was what was cleared they would be correct or some will say this was where the buy stop where and they will send it out in time and say they i said this is where it stopped where and they, were, they, they are also correct i'm not discrediting that however i choose to use the body because on the lower time frames i use the body so i like you know all my should i call it theories and principles to you know be in, in tandem with one another so if i'm using the body on the lower time frame for objectives i should be using the body on the lower time frame for you know objectives on the on the weekly as well so now moving on we can clearly see after this stop on to the upside we did have a you know quick break of market structure of this swing low right so this swing low was broken in the case uh you don't realize that's a swing low you can just insert some indicators you can insert the b williams black stars indicator let me make it I think I'll make it uh let me make it uh yellow I think oh no that's that's too that's too dark I think I'll I will just make it uh I don't wanna make it, let, let me just make it red okay so you can see the B William factor indicator this is a factor However, we do typically call a swing high and a swing low from two, you know, lower highs or lower lows at, at either side of the candle. So, you don't necessarily why you don't necessarily need the B William fractal to tell you if you have a swing high or if you have a swing low. We do use it or we can't use it. Okay, 
So now I'm going to quickly remove the indicator so that we concentrate on price action basically. So upon the break of that swing low from this uh, one, two, three, four, four, you know, consecutive down candle or yeah, for these four consecutive, you know, bearish candles. After breaking this swing low, we had what we you know term as market structure shift to the downside bearish. That you know giving us the confidence that this high is going to be protected, you know, intermediate term, and uh, we are expecting this area to serve as an other block that you know should be defended near term. Now there are a lot of things to to do for me to say okay. I can pull up my Fibonacci and uh, I can pull up my Fibonacci and I'll say okay I am measuring the the fifty percent of it and I'll wait for price to get to the fifty percent before entry and all that. However, for the sake of this setup, I didn't do that. Now why didn't I do that? It's simple. It's evident we are not close to the fifty percent yet. However, this move down puts us in the, in a bearish tone and if we're in the bearish tone i should be looking for sales henceforth regardless of price going to the 50 percent or not mind you the best other blocks don't even need to be traded to the 50 percent you can just drop price away after a little rto you know at the open so moving on let's go to the daily let's see further what price actually had to tell us now on the daily i'm going to remove my fib as well from here so that oh, okay perfect so now on the daily we can clearly see that this is a clear market structure so because we broke technically a swing low that made a higher high okay or broke a low a typical low that made a higher high so what do we expect to be defended Either what now? Either this breaker, right? Or this overall other block right here. Which we could argue that this is also a breaker that got capitalized. Right? Let me remove this. Right? We should also argue that th this is a breaker that got capitalized by this return right here. Okay? So in essence, the whole thing we are looking at is this, this whole range, okay? But I don't want to, you know, make it confused with this. I will just say this. I believe you can understand the range we are looking for to take short at. So upon price coming to this range, I'm looking to short whenever I see an opportunity, and uh, that's pretty much it. Now we notice near term or in, in the near future the, that there's this void right here this liquidity void right here and uh, if price gets to come back to the upside this is the void i'll be looking for to get filled near term i also take on more shorts we don't have to fill the void completely because uh you know institutional the flow from the weekly is already bearish so if we can get up to just above 50 percent or if we can get to premium that would be enough and not necessarily complete the void and we are on that last up off close candle okay now moving on what else do we see on the daily we see quite a bit of a retracement to the upside right now as we see this retracement to the upside we start seeing a consolidation Typically, we've been in consolidation since February. You can check it on all of the pairs, and uh, it's been quite frustrating for a lot of long term traders. Now, we've been in consolidation, and in that consolidation, what are we hoping for? A clear stop hunt to take to the downside. Now, I'm not going to say my setup was the be all end all, it was the most correct, and that's what you should be looking at in price. What I'm going to say is this while we are in bearish environment like you can see all up close candles that are being generated all up close candles that are being generated these these there are something you should be selling into so despite seeing 
a buy rally from these levels up here there are something you should be selling it let me pull up my fib again so that you see something okay no from that this range before the retracement you can clearly see that okay at these levels we are below equipoise and if we're below equipoise you can call it equilibrium by the way so i just you know tend to use the word equipoise because of the actual literal meaning you understand and uh, i feel uh, the term equipoise you know better justifies a level where you expect price to you know trade away from and trade to you understand me so you can definitely use any any vocabulary you want i'm not trying to you know discredit uh using the term equilibrium which is most you know no known in, in you know the forex industry but uh, i just prefer to use the term equipoise now you can see from equipoise over here what we have is quite elementary and uh, it looks it looks promising before getting to equipoise right on this zero level you could be a buyer now i'm not going to be you know talk about any trade here which i didn't share or which i have shared and i didn't create a video i'm not going to do any hindsight stuff here i'm just going to talk about how you could have been able to get involved on short just by seeing a mere push up above equipoise so any push up above equipoise makes makes us to be in a premium and we should be selling premiums to what now discount areas so despite this level being an ultimate title which can be reached a consolidation and a stop on multiple stop on just before uh echo entry right here or just before the 80 percent feed level right here you know is you know expected and taking shots from any degree around this area it's a you know high probability trade simply because we are one above equipoise two we are bearish on the weekly time frame and we are just you know coming down to the daily time frame to search for setup now as you can see we are already bearish so what does that where does that leave us that leaves us with any run above and high or an old eye to be a total soup opportunity to go short or any return to a bullish candle will be an other block opportunity to go what now short as well now you can see this let me let me just do a little bit of hindsight stuff now you can see this notice the run up above this bullish candle that's a short although it's not too much of pips but you, if you calculate this 140 pips what do we do clearing the body of these two equal candles before rallying again so since we're in a bearish environment there's like all these blue runs if you focus on one side of the marketplace and um, being a bear on ucad you will be able to see high probability trade now you can see that did work if you took from this one and you say okay it didn't work right you after your stop point right here you saw another block that actually worked and if you took from where from where else if you took from this first total sort of soup it did work this one that we took worked as well so it's a matter of you or this video is a matter of you honing yourself on one side of the marketplace and allowing trades to pan out based on the institutional order flow that has been you know printed out basically on the day and uh, on the weekly now when i mean the word or well, what i mean by the word printed out you see before these transactions happen let me go back to the weekly to show something before these transactions happened, they had already been priced in by institutions. They know they are selling around here and they are covering their shots here with this bullish order block to hedge their shots and get involved on some longs to, you know, possibly or potentially get involved on more shots right here to push down to clear out this liquidity and all the fun stuff. So they are already priced this in, but before we actually see those priced in, schematic right it takes time you know for us for it to be related to us by our bible broker and you know other fun stuff like that for large at any rate what i'm trying to drive at is this 
the institution the central banks that control price they actually know where price is going to go to before it actually happens and uh we are just basically trading to you know trying to be in tandem with what they've already set you know to ensue in the marketplace now let me move over to the four hourly time frame now in the four hourly time frame we could see that our consolidation zone now well as i said uh, earlier any move above an old or uh, an old low is a, an optimal area to you know look for short and look for spell stops right so we look for buy stops to tag and take short we could clearly see that here on this candle this was the previous week so i marked out the body of the candle as well then what did i do start looking for short and on this area this was the first place i took a, I took a sell Sorry. this was the first place i took a sell right now some will ask me uh even on those engulfing candles this bullish engulfing candle you see to be said well yes uh this is this is the setup right here upon the engulfing candle i took a sell and i posted it just before it started dropping you understand so of course i had to take my position and i got taken my position you know set a certain score before actually posting it and that took pretty much the next hour to post now that out of the way uh let's go back to what we see in price action before i continue let me quickly say this i'm not trying to discredit the fact that price can come here and decide to clear out this eye right i'm not also discrediting the fact that price can come here and decide to clear out all these highs filling in the void no what i'm trying to say is that from here from this utmost high down to this low anything above this area should be a reasonable area or a reasonable poi to take itself from that's it okay so now that i have that you know emphasized and out of the way i was looking for shorts from here so i know uh, it's it's very easy to attack someone and be like oh well in this old range this is not uh this is not looking like something to be short it's looking like a you know an expansion a what a consolidation and that expansion before a you know consolidation in the markdown well on the weekly time frame by in the bearish market so despite all these i'm looking for shorts above old highs and return to other blocks you know so now with that and out of the way let's go to the what now the one hour because that's actually what i posted and that's where the trade actually happened so on the one hour time frame you can see clearly looking back at the previous week's price action you notice the previous week was actually very weird we didn't make a high on tuesday we, we barely even made a high on monday we just gap down and then left this gap based on my broker and uh, i know if you use other brokers as well even if you don't see this gap you see something weird as well although we did get to close it on the next candle but this is still a void by any standard this is still a void this right here this poor price action is still a void so we expect it to get wiped out and we expect we expect there to be certain orders there that were un, unfulfilled basically so upon the reach of this because, oh wow my spread actually helped me show this so instead of putting a line let me just stop with the spread for the reach of this area right there you can clearly see that we didn't quite cover it then we crash down again now upon hitting it covering it completely right we did what we were running into this old high which i was taking as what now we will be what now souped on and you know reverse to the downside now 
pretty much hand tight workout period we did see a first of pull to the downside then another retracement to the upside upon this engulfing candle another news event hitting this other block closing in this you know liquidity void and the fair value gap now we did hit you know the objective we've started rallying again which i will be looking to take shots from where this area either as a rejection block or i'll be looking for higher what now pdrs to take shots from now with all those out of the way let me actually break down how you could have been able to manage this trade because uh, personally speaking it makes no sense right taking a trade and having it to get you know turned back or uh, having it to turn back on you and uh, put you on the wrong side of the marketplace i should also be very keen to say this uh if you have a price this price right here i had no assurance that it was going to fall back down okay so i will explain that very well when i start you know showing i manage the i manage this trade i had no assurance that this is going to fall back down all i knew is that what now there's an other block right here right that's the body of the candles let me delete this that's the body of the candle right there there's another block you can you can call this these are the two consecutive candles right that's the other block mind you i focus on the bodies although my stops will be above the highs of the weeks i always focus on the bodies okay so though there was this other block right here, which of course can be extended in time and expecting a reaction from i didn't expect it to be what will give me my pp instead i just expected it after hitting this high this four hourly level i said to just trade back down but that didn't happen now look at how to manage this setting about now short term to long term trade you simply pull your fibonacci from entry to what now to tp or to your expected TP, okay. For the sake of this setup, uh, the other grids on my Fibonacci tool, they are not important, so I, I won't talk about them right now. What we'll be talking about primarily is equipoise and you know the hundred level and the you know zero percent level. So we have that already now. I'm going to take on a line two to mark out a equipoise. Now, on marking out equipoise, you did see that, okay, we got there on the first day during the what now, the London close, which is perfect. So, while you're using an hypothetical 35th stop, you are having a what now, a 53. Take profit, which is arguably 2.1 weeks to reward. Though you might not use a 30 pip stop just like me, based on what I did, no, that's not necessary. There are certain things that can make you refine that to even a 10 pip stop, a 5 pip stop. I won't, I won't go into that because, of course, this video is primarily for the people on my, you know, Telegram channel. Imagine the Telegram channel is free. I'll post a, I'll post a link to it in the description box. So it's actually to explain it on my telegram for people on my telegram channel that actually saw the setup live. So I used the 30 pip stop because I was just trading off the higher time frame. I don't necessarily what's going on on the higher time frame. And for a big move like this, of course, you would want to use a, a lower leverage so that you can actually see or give the price ample time to reverse and go in your direction. This is it's reversing immediately hitting those levels. I think one, two, three, four hours. It just went just four hours there, and this was the final crash. This is reversing almost immediately hitting those levels. It's not to say I was actually, you know, having a stop loss very close, and uh, you know, understand doing some fancy stuff. You no, know? this was how my trade actually was. So upon doing this, you mark equipoise. 
what do you do at equipoise price is to trade to and fro from equipoise now on price hitting equipoise did you expect a reasonable rejection or a what now complete what now crash out from equipoise meaning as we hit it we are either supposed to reject or completely crash out to full tp now i know that doesn't make any sense of course we are supposed to go up or go down yes that is true but what you should understand is that for the case of trading based on typically the way i trade at equipoise you should be taking your first profit because of the 50 percent chance that is going to go back to the upside not necessarily that is going to crash to your final level okay because there is also the tendency of it going to the upside you would want to be taking your first partials at the 50 percent level at the 50 percent level obviously we did take partials over here on this day i had to take a what now a new york open setup and uh, trading of this other block although i didn't announce it on my you know telegram channel you can see i just announced the swoops on and uh, i came there i been about three days later to show the results right so although i didn't announce it because it wasn't necessary right it was merely i believe any any trader it doesn't matter if you're trading ict or trading whatever right if you if you are new to smart money concept you should be able to see this other block by default and mark out some things like this and say stop hunt right what people do nowadays on on you know youtube and telegram and other social media and stop hunt you say bms right and uh rto right you should be able to do that but if you are not able to do that i just did and uh obviously i guess uh, by now you you've seen the setup how it should have hypothetically panned out okay let me do that you see the setup how it are how it you know hypothetically should have you know be represented in your chart so let me let's all this so let me quickly delete all these and uh pretty much uh that was that was pretty much it now you can see upon hitting the level we had another little bit of what now consolidation now we are it seems we are expanding to the upside though although this level will be keen to what now to short form right as a total soup i won't be keen to short from it if i see price coming here on monday without the price being in where the either the london open or the new york open if it's not on the london open or the new york open i won't be getting involved in that price if you see this where was this candle this bullish candle come on you can see eight o'clock right eight o'clock and uh, this book is actually on gmt which is at we translate to what now gmt plus one for me which is nine o'clock which falls within the london open kill zone London Open Key Zone is what now? What's the London Open Key Zone again? <laughs> right? Which was within the London Open Key Zone? Now, this as, this as well. This came what now? Uh, 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Uh, GMT, which is actually what now? The New York Open Key Zone as well. So, that's pretty much it concerning the setup. There's really nothing fancy about it. Uh, please leave a comment section. Leave, leave a comment in the comment section below if you, you know, actually gain something from this video and if you understand how this setup actually formed and why I was looking at it. And uh, secondly, if you if you actually gain something from it, please leave a like as well and don't forget to subscribe. All right, that's it for now. Bye, guys.